So we have been living in Austin since September yep. of last year, so like eight or nine months. And yesterday we decided to brave the lines and go to Franklin Barbecue, which is kind of an experience and a rite of passage here in Austin. yesterday morning at about 6 45 our goal is to be there by about 7 but we got there at about 7 15. good morning it is 7 53 on saturday may 12th and cody where are we oh, franklin's barbecue oh, franklin barbecue is in downtown austin i'm here on 11th and branch and there's the front of the <laughs> restaurant <laughs> and here's the line so you can technically just pick up takeout if you're going to do Franklin barbecue. You can order head online from what we've heard and like show up and pick it up. Um, but we wanted to go at least one time just to have like the experience of um, having the barbecue, like kind of <laughs> waiting in line with everyone else just to see what the true experience is like. And of course, we love barbecue. A lot of people consider Franklin barbecue to be like the best barbecue in all of Texas. Um, in, in the U.S., I think. And some in the U.S., yeah. There was a lot of hype, so we decided, okay, at least one time we have to go and just check it out, see what all the fuss is about. How many people do you think are here in line? Probably <laughs> 237. We brought lawn chairs. Um, they did have a few there. Um, they had more than a few. I feel like we could have not brought lawn chairs and it would have been fun. We could have not brought them, but if in the event that we would have not had a lawn chair, it would have been terrible. So we've been waiting in line now for one hour. It's 8.15. That was the first hour so far. Beautiful. <laughs> it went by pretty fast. It's still like shady. It's crazy. There's all these people down there. Most of them have chairs, but some of them don't. The restaurant doesn't open for three more hours. I wish we would have got there just a little bit earlier because we were just outside of the shaded area. Mm -hmm. Which is under kind of like the, the deck. I actually asked the people at the front line, they got there at 6 a.m. If we would have gotten there between 6.45 and 7 on a Saturday, we probably would have been in that shaded area, which was nice. If I would have done this again, I would have just gone at 6 because... The wait time is the same. The wait time is the... Like we then had to wait in line for a while. A while. So apparently what they do is they come through the line and they take everyone's order like early in the morning so that the people toward the end of the line, I guess, they can tell you like, oh, we're out of this, or we're out of that. So keep you posted on whether or not that happens. Your name? Christine. Christine, what are we doing here, Christine? <laughs> um, we're gonna be uh, talking about lunch today. I know how much meat we have for today. Okay, and I'm just cool. here to talk about um, how much everybody wants um, so I can tell the people at the end of the line what we have and what we don't have I have probably like about like another hundred pounds of brisket to go I'm getting close up for the guarantee for the beef ribs um, Pork ribs plenty of it pretty close on the pulled pork and turkey But sausage we have it all day <laughs> my favorite um, Beef ribs. Yeah. Cool. And y'all are here on a Saturday, so I definitely recommend trying it. Is, are those um, only served on Saturday? Only on Saturdays, yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. What meat are you most excited to try, Code? The brisket. Brisket? I'm probably most excited to try the ribs. Um, I don't know, I think we're gonna get one, one of everything, maybe. Try all the sides. Try as many meats as we can stomach. And I've heard that the dessert is really good. We chair, we brought books to read, I journaled a little bit, and it's kind of part of the experience too, to like talk to the people around you and get to know them. It's tailgating. So it is, yeah. It's like you're about to go to a college football game, but you're eating barbecue. <laughs> so people will bring like their coolers, and I thought I would just be so bored, but I felt like it went by pretty fast. I think it would be really fun with like a group of friends. Yeah. Or like your family or whatever, just a bunch yeah. of people, but it's just the two of us. Bring the cooler. Yeah. Bring the games. There are people like passing football and stuff, and we got super lucky. So it's uh, mid early May right now. Um, 
it was like overcast, it felt really nice. Toward the end it got a little toasty. Yeah, if it's like mid-July and you get there and you're in the sun the whole time, that's that's tough. I would never do this in mid-July. Yeah. At about 8 o'clock they open up the, like, the restaurant. So you can go inside, which is air conditioned, which is really nice, but they have like a bathroom, you can buy drinks in there, they have like their little shop with stuff. So you can go in there and kind of like get some merchandise or whatever. So that was kind of nice to know like, okay, I can go use the restroom. I'm not truly like camping. Alrighty, update time. It is 10.39. So the restaurant actually opens in 20 minutes and it's just absolutely crazy out here. So I'm gonna show you guys how long the line is. stood in an actual line, no longer sitting in the lawn chairs. But then we slowly inched our way to get to the door, and then we got in the door. It's a very long process, even after the store is open. By the time we got our food and we're sitting down, it was 1.15, so 7.15, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. One? Did we wait six hours? possible? Yeah. 7, 15, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow. They take time with each person, which is cool. It just means it takes a little bit longer for you to get there. Yeah, they had really, really good customer service, which I felt like was super nice. So after you finally make it up to the cutter, I think is what they call this guy, who, I mean, to all the barbecue joints that I've been to, this guy was just on the ball. Like, was very tailored to what you wanted and was very helpful. Where y'all coming from? Uh, here, Austin. Local? Yeah. Nice, nice. First time in? Yep. Awesome. Here's some samples, y'all, if y'all can share another one. Thank you. So we said a pound of brisket, a little bit of bone? Uh, yes. Okay. What time did y'all have in line this morning? 7.13. All right. Yeah. Every minute counts. Yeah. So I got a pound of brisket right yeah. there. Is that going to be good, y'all? Yeah, it's going to be good. We ended up getting more than we even wanted to because it, it, the anticipation, it's like Christmas morning and so you kind of like indulge, I guess you could say. So you order your meat, he cuts it up right in front of you. So they have brisket, pulled pork, pork ribs, uh, turkey, sausage, and then on Saturday only beef rib. Beef rib. So we got all of our meats and Cody kind of decided like the quantities we wanted for all those. And then you have three choices of sides. Yep. So potato salad, coleslaw, and beans. And then they have four pie options. So of course we got literally one of everything for the meats, the sides, and then we picked two of the four pies. You just serve it to you on this huge tray and then you take your food and you go enjoy it. So how long did we wait for this barbecue? Holy crap. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What is it? Six hours. So we've got our white bread, which is the classic mainstay in the barbecue scene. We've got our coleslaw, our potato salad, our beans, which is pinto beans with some brisket inside. We've got a key lime pie for dessert, a pecan pie for dessert. We've got three sausage links. This is turkey. These are the pork ribs. This is the brisket hidden back here. There's uh, pulled pork underneath. And then this is the beef rib back here. Nice. This is big rib, Texas classic, and a root beer. So I liked the most um, the brisket and the beef rib. Um, the beef rib, oh my goodness, this one was, I mean, out of this world. So my strategy going in, we got a ton of food, was to eat a little bit of everything at the beginning and compare. We we just hammered the beef rib it before was, we even yeah. moved. We forgot that there was something else. Also, I usually do like barbecue sauce, but... Same with me. Love barbecue sauce. Didn't use it because... It didn't, didn't need it. You did not need it. The bark on the beef rib and the bark on the, so the outside, the, the 
where all the seasoning is. Yeah, where all the seasoning is so good. I can't even describe it. And the meat is just like melt in your mouth. Yeah. It's, it's heavenly. I don't know if it was an off day or what. Um, I wasn't a fan of the turkey. I'm never really a fan <laughs> of the turkey. <laughs> So I think if we would have gone back, we probably would have passed on the turkey, but everything else, like the sausage, the beef, the pulled pork, the pork rib, and of course the beef rib was amazing. And then I think the only other thing that we weren't like thrilled with um, was the sides. There's a lot of other good barbecue joints and some of them have incredible sides. Yeah. So our expectations were pretty high that with the meat would come incredible sides. And I would say that they were okay, fine. but they, and I'm sure they think that, like, you know, the star of the show is the meat, so the sides are just complimentary. But I think that with the weight and with the expectation, you could expect to have some better coleslaw, potato salad, and, uh, and beans. I think one thing we were both surprised by was the pie. Yep. So we decided to order the key lime and for Cody, that was the one that stuck out to him and the, and the pecan for me. They were both so good. I'm not usually like a key lime person. That's not my favorite pie, but we decided that the key lime pie is the best option for this experience because it kind of cuts all the richness of everything else have going on. It's nice to have that like tang. Uh, usually a key lime pie is a bit too tart and this one was right on. The pecan pie, you usually don't even like pecan pie. I either. don't like pecan pie, but I had more than I should have had with that pie. And we got to have a little tour of the, uh, the smoke room, is that what they call it, at the end? The smoke stack? The smoke, smoke shack. shack? The smoke shack. Yeah, this is the pit. This is uh, all the food for tomorrow. We've uh, started cooking it already. Oh, wow. These are real traditional smokers. You can see James over here. He's working on the first batch. Brisket's cooked 15, 18 hours on the top end, but so we're loading these up. We're basically, we're really working two days ahead. We started working on these briskets yesterday. We trimmed them all down, get all the fat off, get them in a good, nice space, put them back in the cooler tomorrow. This morning, we took them out, rubbed them down. James had them all on, you can see, 10, basically 10 to 11.15 a.m. He was loading briskets on for tomorrow. These okay. will all come off around two in the morning. And then ribs will go on, turkeys will go on, those will come off around 9.30, 10 in the morning. So was it worth it? Was waiting in line all morning long in the Texas heat worth it? To me, the answer is yeah. Yes, it was. I truly think that it's not just the hype that makes it taste good. I think that could, can happen at some places. The brisket is the best brisket I've ever had. It was absolutely worth it to kind of have like that one-time experience of just seeing it from beginning to end. Like, what is it like to wait? and then get the food to eat it like hot right there instead of taking it to go, you know, at your house. The moment I knew it was worth it was when I took the first bite of that beef rib. Oh my gosh. That's like the best bite of barbecue I've ever had. Yeah, it's the bark. I mean, it's also the smoke. They they smoke it for like 15 hours, which is, is pretty lengthy compared to what everyone does. Yeah, I think it'd be worth it for other people if you're a huge barbecue fan. If you've been dying to go to Franklin Barbecue, absolutely. Like, you should set aside a morning to go. Honestly, the experience is fun. It's, to me, it was not even a hard price to pay. It was fun. It's the best actual barbecue I have probably had in my entire life. I think if you don't care as much about it, if barbecue isn't a huge deal to you or you don't really care, i will probably just get the takeout. All in all, fantastic beef rib and the brisket, hard A+. Mm -hmm. The pulled pork, I'd give an A. The sausage, an A. Yeah, the sausage was really good. The pulled pork was really, really good and juicy. A's all around, except for the sides. Yeah, it was a great experience. God bless Aaron Franklin.